Hey, Luis, how are you? Hey, good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing good. Ready to begin the week. <laughs> hey, one more time. Yeah, yeah, Ano yeah. A, a, Another week, right? Yeah, it's, it's really fast. Imagine. This, yeah. this week, this week finish, we'll finish October, right? Almost. I think it's on Monday. Next week, Monday, we finish October. No, oh, Sunday, Monday. Monday. Ah, yes, Monday. Mm -hmm. Ah, that is true. Okay, yeah. The next week, finish. Yeah. We'll finish. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, what happened, teacher? No, the time is super fast, right? Because yeah. we finish the yeah. year quickly. Yeah, faster. Mm -hmm. yes. Faster, right? What happened in the in the environment? What do you think? <laughs> uh, think this the <this> space. <laughs> what happened with the? I, I don't know what happened. The, the the time faster. Maybe supposed in the past was a different the, the time, right? Yeah. In the past, yeah, yeah. but nowadays is very different. Really different. Uh huh. The translation and rotation or art fast yeah also that i think uh, the global warming also affect the weather so the time you we feel different mm -hmm. okay good right okay mm -hmm. because then uh, before the the weather was hot for longer now mm -hmm. it's faster the shorter things like this mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, and in in all mall maybe they are celebrate the the Christmas, and yes, and the mall. almost in every mall you go to any mall, uh -huh. and it's the same. Uh -huh. uh, Simán, La Gran Villa, uh, yeah. Plus, everybody, everybody has the same things. Uh huh. Uh -huh. The Christmas, everybody's ready for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, may do do you know in October it's raining a lot? I don't know what happened the the weather. <laughs> yeah, Be, because in this month, it well, it, it should be windy, right? I remember uh -huh. the people say that in October was very windy before. Uh huh. Uh huh. But now know. no more, no more yeah, wind. I, now it's just yeah, very, very different. Uh huh. I have very different the uh, uh, environment. Yeah, but yeah. Uh -huh, but but maybe the the last night I I feel um, the the cold, yeah, a little a bit, little cold, yeah, a little, a little bit. bit because normally uh -huh. in November, December you start to feel the cold weather. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. I remember when my son was young, uh huh, like a little boy. Uh, in October we used to go to the park and we used to go fly the kite and enjoy the cool weather. Where where do you uh, grow up, teacher? San Salvador, Sonati. Oh, in well, from my I, I, I grew up. Well, my son grew up here in Santa Tecla. Ah, uh, Santa. But now, for for example, uh, Santa Tecla, the the old people explain that that place and the last time were uh, cold, cold, cold. Yeah. Yeah, very very cold, but uh -huh. now it's not so cold. Now it's a little warm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. But it's, before it's... it was it was nice and cool. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a warm and hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. We got Miguel. We have Roxana, Kalena. How yeah. are you? you? Guys, are ready? Hello. Yes, I'm ready. Hello, Luis. Yes, teacher. I'm ready. Hey, hey great. Hi. Day. So first, how was your weekend? How was everything? You went to church, you stayed at home, you went to the beach, you slept all day. What happened? I don't remember what, what did I did. Mm, a lot of alcohol. Okay, <laughs> Kalena. Big parties. All right. I like it. I like it. So, Kalena, big party. Nice. Mm -hmm. Miguel and Roxana, what about you? Everything is okay, teacher. 
Uh, mm -hmm. It was a, a typical weekend. I went to church <laughs> and I and I worked. Only that. You worked on Sunday or you worked on Saturday? I work on Saturday. Okay. And I went to short on Sunday. Okay. Yeah. And when you go to church, is for a little time, a long time? Well, it's for three hours. Uh from 8 30 to 11 30. Oh wow, it's a little long. A little, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's good. That way, when you finish at 11.30, you are hungry. Time for lunch. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That's good. And then you call Alex. Alex, you have my food? Where's my food, Alex? Yeah. Where's my food? Yes, uh -huh. right now. Right. I need my food. <laughs> exactly. All right. It's time for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and run. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. That's the idea. Yeah. Mm. Okay. How about you, Alex? How was your weekend? Ah, good. Really good. We went to Perkin with my family. Ah, Perkin's a little far. Yes. We went to celebrate a birthday. A nephew. A nephew. Your nephew's birthday? Yes. My nephew's, my nephew's birthday. <laughs> oh, okay. It's, it's far away, really. It's like a... Yeah, I think so. Like a, I think you have to... Six hour because we lost a uh, we lost in, in the way. Oh yes. Imagine end, more time. Really good. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So you have to do more time. Six hours to get there. It's a long time. Yes. I don't know how the cake is a, a, a let, me, let me see. It's like a, a good uh a good four when or oh, a good shape or oh, four a good shape a good shape it will check when when we arrive there perkin because at, at the the row is a some part is a good but the other part is a some holes a big holes etc cetera, etc cetera. yes <laughs> that's really good okay yeah and in six hours is a long time for a cake in the Ooh, car really at the end you know we don't have uh we don't talk um a sleep in perkin but at the end, because it's later when when we uh, find uh, my nephew, mm -hmm. uh, it's like a 3 p.m. The mm -hmm. like a one hour they celebrate at the end. Hey, okay, it's necessary to find a hotel near to the Perkin, and we go to the um, uh, Coateca. Coateca. Like that. Okay. Coateca. <laughs> like that. But it's good. We enjoy it. And so you... there in Pekin is a, a museum, a war museum. Yes. yes. Did you went? Yes, did... Did. No, but but did. Uh, we don't uh, went to the museum. But but I I I remember I read some um, <gasps> ah, yes. Fine. Uh -huh. Hey museum or no? Ah okay. Okay. Some advertisement. Uh huh. Uh -huh, advertising, yes. It's nice. Do, do you do you know what it is? Many times I go. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, good. It's a nice place. Mm -hmm. I never went to this museum. I, I heard I heard there's a museum in Perkin, but I never, never. I have never gone. No. You have to go, teacher. Is is I I thought it was a small museum. I thought it was like a, a little museum. Yeah. When do you go, Alexander? Huh? When? When the, the last week? Really? Yes, yes Saturday and return Sunday. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. But but I You I, know I, I am from Morrison. Yes, I know. I remember Ivania. Maybe I, I I see Ivania. I see Ivania. Uh huh. San Francisco Otera. I, I was in San Francisco Otera last week. Really? Yes, when I visited my father. Mm, yes. Yeah. But it's really good. And 
you know, we, about the weather? Do you like it? Ah, uh, we went to the like um the board that the Honduras. Yes. There are there are some uh migration place and near to near near to the migration uh, station. I don't know what is this, how do you say the name, but the aduana mm -hmm. near to Customs. aduana. It, mm -hmm. uh -huh, my nephew is is he work he is working near okay. to the yes okay that is good yes yeah. for me i i i love to 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 travel to Berkin and mm -hmm. only uh, stay uh, there for a cup of uh, coffee uh -huh. in the afternoon so it's good yes it's really good there are there are many places to to uh, to for vacation. Yes, there yes. are many places. Yes, hotels are different kinds of hotels. Yes, because it's touristic. Really, yes. it's a yes. touristic place. Mm. And I think because it's very far, that maybe not a lot of tourists go to Perkin. Yes, maybe in the the accessibility to the to the road. Because it's not good. Um, yes. But so so some some parts of some the road. Parts, yes. But but uh, ninety percent is okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, it's great that we are talking about the weekend and about traveling and Perkin and the vacation because today we are going to begin our unit three which is everything about our speaking. Remember, we are beginning our speaking section in the exam. We're gonna watch the video first to remember and to remind ourselves what is the difference in the speaking exam. Let's go over the speaking section. This is what you will find. Integrated questions three and five and integrated questions four and six. Going over each type of questions will help you get better results. So stay for the explanation and watch the examples. So we're going to look at integrated questions. We're going to find out what they are, how to answer them, and the best way to get more points in our test. So here are integrated questions number three and five. We're going to learn a little bit about how they scored and what we can use or they are about. Welcome to the speaking section. We'll now go over speaking questions three and five. Introduction, question structure, approach tips, a scoring criteria, a scale <coughs> building tips. Here we're going to look at how the questions are structured and what they're asking, how to approach the questions, how your responses are scored, and we'll give you some tips for improving your speaking skills. Question three, read a passage, listen to a response, 30 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak. Here's generally what the question will look Now imagine that here's a little bit different. Do you remember the last time we saw it, it was questions one and four or one and two? Now it's questions three and five. Remember the idea is a little bit different because here in the last time we did the listening, we only had a little bit of time, but here we have 30 seconds to prepare. And now you have to speak for 60 seconds. So now it's more time to prepare but you have to speak for more time. It's double the time. Listen to a response. 30 seconds to prepare. 60 seconds to speak. Here's generally what the question will look like and how they are structured. In question three, you will read a passage about a campus-related topic. Then you will listen to a response to that topic. Then you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. So one more time, let's look at the structure. How does that work? Okay. How is the function of question number three? Listen to a response. 30 seconds to prepare. 60 seconds to speak. Here's generally what the question will look like and how they are structured. 
In question three, you will read a passage about a campus related topic. So the first thing is, what are you going to do? Read the passage. Read the passage. It's correct. You're going to have a reading passage. It's not big. They're usually only one paragraph or mm -hmm. less than eight sentences. It's usually a, a small paragraph. That's number one. Topic. Mm -hmm. Then you will listen to a response to that topic. Then part two. What is step two? Listen. Listen. Listen to now, response. Yes, that's the difference. Not listen to that topic, but listen to a response. So somebody mm -hmm. answering or giving an, a details or opinion about that statement. Okay, that's number two. So it's integrated. The idea that it's called integrated is because it includes many abilities in one test, not only one, not only listening, not only reading. Integrated, many different activities or skills in one test. Then you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. Question five, listen to a conversation. 20 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak. Now here you have less time to prepare. In the last one, you had 30 seconds. Here, you only have 20 seconds. 20. Mm -hmm. And remember, the idea is prepare is not to have your complete sentences. The idea to prepare is to get your main ideas and what you want to say. That's the objective. Okay. 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 20 seconds to prepare. 60 seconds to speak. For question five, you listen to part of a conversation. Then you'll have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. Now let's look more closely at what these campus situation questions look like and what they will be asking you to do. For question three, where you have both reading and listening passages, you will be asked what the opinion is of a speaker in the listening passage and you will need to explain how that person's opinion relates to the issues presented in the reading passage. So, you're essentially summarizing and combining information from two sources. For question five, where- Okay, so question number three, what is the main idea? The main idea is to summarize the speaker, summarize the listening, and explain the relationship to the reading. So it's two parts, right? Part one, you summarize the listening. Yeah. Part two, you explain why this is important to the reading. According to the reading or according to the speaker, this is the idea for integrated, the two answers. Okay. Person's opinion relates to the issues presented in the reading passage. So... You're essentially summarizing and combining information from two sources. For question five, where the listening passage is a conversation about a campus problem and one or more solutions, you will need to describe the problem and then give your opinion about what the solution should be. Approach tips. So you see number five is yes, you can give your opinion. You describe the problem, again, you summarize, what is the problem? Why is it a problem? And then your opinion for the solution. I think we can. I believe they should. It needs to be. These are the modal verbs that you use to express the solution. Opinion about what the solution should be. Approach tips. Don't speak too quickly. Let's speak at a normal pace. Time yourself when you practice. How to approach these kind of speaking questions. Number one. Be careful not to speak too quickly because this might make it difficult for the reader to understand you. The questions are designed so that if you speak at a normal pace, you will have enough time to give a complete response. You will get better at this if you time yourself when you practice. So what is the tip? The tip is to practice speaking for 60 seconds. So today when we practice, we are going to practice the same technique. Your partner is going to have 20 seconds 
after 20 seconds is obligation. Your partner speak for 60 seconds. Your partner, I, I don't know, I don't know. Remember, I don't know, I don't know is recorded in your answer because the recording is 60 seconds. You don't know, ah, you have to invent because you have to speak for 60 seconds because if not, the recording, you, you finish and the recording continues in, and the recording continue 20 seconds and you don't speak. So remember, we're gonna practice. We have 20 seconds and 30 seconds, but the speaking is the same. The speaking is one minute, one minute complete. Not necessary to go quickly. It's not necessary to get nervous. I think that, that no, 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 relax. Don't go slowly. I think that the idea of, no, speak normally, normally. Try not to have pauses, not to have buffers, eh, uh, mm, these types of things. Let's continue listening to the tips that we can use to help ourselves in the speaking. You have enough time to give a complete response. You will get better at this if you time yourself when you practice. Question three, listen carefully to the speaker's reason for agreeing or disagreeing with points made in the reading. Make sure you summarize the opinion of the speaker. For question Remember, is, question number three is not your opinion. Is according to the speaker. Oh, the speaker agrees, disagrees, why? What do they say? What is the most important part that they say? That's why you have to summarize. Sure, you summarize the opinion of the speaker. For question five, as you listen, focus on identifying and understanding what the problem and possible solutions are. Then write down a few keywords or ideas on your scratch paper. But remember, you need to do more than summarizing your response. You also need to give your opinion. So don't spend too much time summarizing. Use most of your time explaining why it is the best solution. A scoring criteria, zero to four. A score holistically. Before the test, make sure you understand what the raters are looking for and how the questions are scored. In the speaking section, all six responses are scored on a scale from zero to four, and they are scored holistically which means that the rater listens for various features in your response and then give it an overall score. Delivery, clear and fluent speech, good pronunciation, natural pace, good intonation. Language use, use of grammar and vocabulary to express your ideas. Topic development, how fully you answer, how clearly you express your ideas, how you connect ideas. Now, here are some activities that can help you build your skills for integrated speaking tasks, especially numbers three and five about campus situations. Find an online newspaper from an English speaking university. Look for topics about campus life. Choose an article to discuss with a partner. Record yourself and listen to how you speak. Listen to hear your mistakes as well as your tone and pacing. Find listening and reading material on the same topic. Outline a one-minute response, including your opinion and supporting points. Practice improving your fluency. Try to smooth out your phrasing, use different wording, avoid pauses, use transition words, and so on. Okay. Welcome to the speaking section. The last part had a lot of tips, a lot of information. Did you understand? The idea is a lot of things. You can always watch the video later. But the most important is try to speak well, naturally, with good pronunciation and good intonation. Then make sure that your ideas are clear and you have complete answers. You don't want to have answers that are a little short or not complete. That is the most important part. Okay? Okay. All right. We're going to try some of those. We're going to see that in just a moment. Okay. Any questions? In the next, in the next slide, teacher. Of course. Let me I, have a, I have a, a question. Here. Oh, uh, maybe it's a, no. It's a, the next one. The next one. Okay. Uh -huh, maybe. Uh, oh, no, I don't know. 
maybe a wording uh, uses a connecting word. Maybe I, I give your opinion. No, no, I don't know. But maybe uh, include your opinion and voice. Por ah, yeah, this use difference. Let me check. Different wording. What, what does it mean? You said different wording. I, I use use a transition word. What, what did they mean? Okay, so there are two things that they are talking about. One is use different wording and the other is use different transition words. So the idea of use different wording is use synonyms and antonyms. No, for example, um, what is your favorite? Uh, what is your favorite food? I really like pupusas. They are really good. They are very, they are really nice. No, just different. Not only really, really, really. Not only very, very, very. Not only so much, so much. Use different types of words. This is the first part when they're talking about use those different words. Okay. So when they say use different wording is this. Also use the different ways to have it. Uh, use the passive tense, use the active tense, use with ing, use with ed, use different types, okay? Then transition words. Transition words are words that help you to create a story and not make a sentence. So uh, when you talk about your last vacation, as an example, my last vacation, I went to the beach, I ate pupusas, I drank soda, these are sentences but is not creating a story. Transition words are what help me to join this story into sound natural. Uh, my last vacation, I went to the beach, then I drank some soda and I went to, these are the transition words that therefore, however, uh, after, first, before that, mm -hmm. then these are the different words to create a story like, mm -hmm. not to only give the answer with sentences. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Did anybody else have any questions? No. No? Nope. All right. Excellent. So in this moment, we're going to practice a little bit. We are going to practice the idea of questions number three and five. Questions mm -hmm. number three and five are talking about integrated. Now, what is the integrated? Remember, it's two things in one. As an example, we're gonna do it together, okay? So two things in one. Integrated is that we are going to read, then we're going to listen to somebody, and then you have to answer this. You have 30 seconds to prepare and 60 seconds to answer. So it's three steps. Step one, read. Step two, listen. Step three, prepare and speak. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Okay. It's okay, the three? Yes. Yes. Yes? All right. Let's try number one. Let's read. The reading. You have 45 seconds. Even for the reading, we have a time. Okay. So I'm going to read to help us. The University Board of Trustees has decided that the old main classroom building should be demolished to make room for a fine new arts center. The proposed building will serve the university drama, music, and arts majors. Besides classrooms, the buildings would contain several stages, a main stage for visiting groups and major productions, and two smaller stages for experimental theater classes. A large concert hall and many practice rooms and an exhibition hall with a permanent collection of artwork and space for students, temporary show, as well as many workrooms. The heating and cooling system will be provided by green energy. Now we listen to two students discuss, and then we do this. If you need to take notes, remember, have a habit, a habit, listen for keywords, listen for important information. That way, when you give the explanation, when you paraphrase or you summarize, you have the vocabulary that they used. Are you going to join our protest to stop their tearing down old Maine? You aren't marching about that, are you? We need a fine arts complex. I don't disagree with that, 
but the empty lot behind the sports arena could be used. Well, that's true, but it's a long distance to walk. So what's so special about Old Main anyway? Well, Old Main was the first building, actually the only building, on campus in the early days, so it has historical value. We should try to preserve our heritage. You know, that it was built in the mid-1800s of stone, so built to last. I didn't know it was that old. But it doesn't have space for classrooms, and I imagine it's a huge expense to heat in winter. Well, in fact, those heavy walls keep heat in, so it isn't expensive. They could use it for offices. There's a shortage of offices for graduate students who have teaching assistantships. Now, let's read here. The man expresses his opinion of the plans being made by University Board of Trustee. State his opinion and explain the reason he gives for holding that opinion. In this moment, you have 30 seconds to prepare, and then you are going to speak for 60 seconds in the WhatsApp group. 30 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds, the recording in the WhatsApp. Okay, record and send it to the WhatsApp is obligation 60 seconds, not 59, not 58, not 57, obligation, one minute, one minute, record and send to the WhatsApp. Okay. Send it, send it, send it. Remember, you only had 30 seconds to prepare. You have to answer. It's not... You answer when you want. Go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. Alex, Mirna. There we go. Good. Miguel, Marvin. Okay. All right, we're okay? A little difficult, right? Because you say, send it, send it, send it, and I say, okay, and I send. Yes. Remember, Kalena, because in the exam, 
automatically begin recording, automatically finish. If you're not prepared, you're not prepared. You lose the time, you lose the time. That's why you have 30 seconds to prepare. So imagine it's, um, imagine it's like points, right? 60 seconds, you get the complete points. But 40 seconds, the maximum that you can get is six points. And if you have mistakes, five points and four points and three. And then that's why I say you have to try to get the maximum points. Always, always. Mm -hmm. So the same, the same, Luis. Longer, Luis, longer, seven seconds. I suggest seven seconds, seven seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't worry. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for Marvin. Marvin, what happened? It's like five minutes, Marvin. Marvin, Marvin is, he, he went to the bathroom. He had dinner. Uh, he prepared the lunch for tomorrow. Ooh. No. Sorry, sorry, teacher. I, I wasn't on the WhatsApp group. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. it's true. <laughs> mm -hmm. The same I, with Miguel. I, I, I am right? singing a song Miguel. under pressure. Miguel, what happened yesterday? <laughs> Let's go for dinner. Uh huh. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Don't worry. This is the idea. The idea is for us to feel the pressure, because we have to. We have to answer under pressure. Remember, the idea is all of this. Imagine here, forty-five seconds. Here, one minute. One minute forty-five. Here, 30 seconds to prepare, two minutes, 15 seconds. All of the exercise, the complete activity is complete in three minutes, three minutes and 15 seconds. And that's it. And then the next question, boom. And then three minutes and boom, boom, boom. And then you have another, and then another, and then another. <gasps> you have to go one, 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 one. Okay. You ready? Yes. Yes? Okay. No. Now, I'm going to give you the opportunity to feel the pressure yourself, not with me. You're going to do exercise two with your partner, only exercise two, but we only have four minutes to complete everything. You have four minutes because that is the time to connect, the time to read, the time to listen, the time for to complete everything. Yes? Yes. Okay. Exercise number two. Exercise number two. One moment. Okay.
what happened? I don't see anything in the WhatsApp, no audios, no recordings. What happened? Forty-five seconds to read, one minute to listen, and the group four minutes. I don't know. Tell me, Kalena, what happened? In our case, teacher, we don't finish to listen the audio. Oh. Because we are talking first. No, <laughs> as neither about the last we didn't exercise. Listen. Mm. We didn't listen the the audio. I we, we try to do, download it, but it doesn't work. Yes, it has a, a problem too. Yes, it's not for download. It's only for listening. Pero no se podía. No, 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 really? We're no, not allowed to 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 do it. Hey, I don't know why. So, uh -huh. for example, here, right? It was like that, uh -huh, and I said, uh -huh. and I put it down. No, no, you have to click here. Uh, Pop out. And then you're going to have here. Now listen to two students as they discuss the... Okay, no problems, no problems. The important is we learn. We learn and we practice. We learn and we practice, yes? So, let's try it together then. I see there's a little bit of a problem. Let's try it together. Okay. Ivania, are you ready? To speak? For, for reading. For read. Okay. Mm -hmm. As part of the Endeavor Tower Health Workshop sports, uh, sponsored by the medical faculty, Dr. James Pilbers from the Monterey Health Organization will be presenting a lecture title Leaving the Restless Leg Syndrome at 2 p.m. in the campus auditorium. This illness is frequently misdiagnosed because of the difficulties it suffers have describing their pain. The fact that it tends to be found within families indicates an underlying and genetics cause. Dr. Fielder will be discussing the symptoms of restless leg syndromes and ways to alleviate the pain. The public is invited to attend. Now listen to two students as they discuss the announcement. Hey Sue, wanna go for a coffee? No thanks. I'm going to the talk about restless leg syndrome. Why don't you join me? Never heard of it. So what's your interest? Well, my mom suffered from it since she was a teenager. At that time, it was diagnosed as growing pains, later as a strained muscle. And then when she began teaching, she was told it was because she was on her feet all day. After she was told it was all in her head, she quit asking and just went on suffering. That sounds awful. So, uh, why were the doctors so wrong? Well, she's always described the pain as thousands of microscopic creatures eating away her calf muscles. That's weird. So how did she finally find out what it was? Oh, a cousin mentioned in passing the medicine that she was taking for restless leg syndrome and went on to describe what mom had been suffering for over 30 years. Wow. Yeah, she's on medication now. But I want to know more about it. It runs in families. So you might get it. Maybe, but I haven't had any problems yet. Now, the woman explains her interest in listening to the guest lecture. State her interest and explain the problems surrounding the syndromes. This means explain why she's interested and explain the problems with the syndromes. Please send your answer to the WhatsApp group. You have 60 seconds in sending the message. Remember, 30 seconds prepare and then 60 seconds to answer. 30 seconds prepare. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds prepare. Escuchaste el audio. <laughs> Yes, but it's about the it's about the the syndrome the syndrome and leg syndrome. Yes, okay, okay.
¿Y cuál es la pregunta? Pues es lo que yo no entiendo. Kalena, right here. The woman explains the interest in listening to the lecture. Why? Sorry. And what is the problem? <laughs> I thought that it was in you. <laughs> Don't worry, Kalena. Sorry. It's okay. We are frustrated sometimes. Don't worry. Okay, guys, <laughs> record your answers. Okay, we have Miguel, Mirna, Alex, Marvin, Roxana, Luis. Nuri, I don't see. Kalena, I don't see. Okay, all right, so. Don't worry, finish, finish. Don't worry, finish, Nuri, finish, Kalena. Make sure you complete. Thank you, Kalena. Nuri, what happened? Kalena, do you see the seconds? 12 seconds? Don't worry, don't worry. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's for the, we, we work on it. Nuri, what happened? Your microphone for the voice for the recording for uh, the audio. Uh, uh, teacher, I only have a uh, ten minute in the class, and uh, I didn't cut you. Sorry. Yeah, but the activity is the same. the The, the last one is mm -hmm. you read, we read, we listen, and then you answer the question. Yes, but but I couldn't uh, listen in uh, the the audio ah, okay okay no problem no no problem i know you had some problems connecting no problem remember we read mm -hmm. we read this this one ivania read then we listened and then you answer the questions now as you can see it is more work and more pressure that's why you have to be careful because it's for the time it's not uh, i have five more seconds to prepare I have 10 more seconds. I want 20 seconds longer. No, I, I don't like, I erase, I record again. No, one time you record, one time begin, and that's it. This is the most difficult part in the exam. Probably the most difficult part because you don't have a problem like in the, in the, in the reading exam or in the writing that uh, you check, you analyze, you erase. No, you record, that's finished. <laughs> No, it's not possible to record again. So this part is very hard, okay? Really hard. It's really hard. It's really hard because you have to be exact, like a, like a mechanic. You go specific, specific for this time, okay? Careful. Yes, but that's why we practice because <laughs> imagine today you are confused and I explain, we go little by little, but imagine <gasps> if nobody explained the day the exam, it, it, you are lost and no it's better little by little we practice we make mistakes we improve the next time better today we don't have time to do the other ones we have questions number here we have x number three and we have this one right here 
So we have two more, okay? We have this one where we're going to have a little bit more integrated, where we listen to the conversation between two students. Then we have to answer, okay? Then we have question number four, where we listen to two students again, and then we answer this. These two questions we're going to do tomorrow, okay? We're gonna do these two questions tomorrow. Now for these, it's a little bit less. You only have 20 seconds to prepare. Why 20 seconds? Because there is no reading. And because there is no reading, you have less time. When you have a reading, you have 45 seconds for the reading, but you also have 10 seconds more to prepare. But today, no. Okay. So the idea is with our partners, don't worry, we're going to go ahead. We're going to talk. What tips or what things were difficult for you in the speaking? What do you need to practice or what is not clear that I can help explain? I think it's difficult when the topic is not so common for the speech, like the first text. Mm -hmm. I I didn't want I didn't know what to speak because the topic is not so common. Good. But I have uh -huh. to practice more. Just topic one and two is not common. For example, uh, the leg syndrome is not common unless you have a medical problem. Yeah, the sun, the sometimes is that the vocabulary, right? Because we don't have in in, in my case, I I don't have the vocabulary in my mind. It's very it's very hard to find when I talk, right? But uh, this is the the challenge, right? To learn, and I don't know, it's oh, for practice, right? Yes, and the tip, Luis, is that's why when you listen, you take notes because the vocabulary that they say, you can use the vocabulary. Remember, it's not for spelling, it's for pronunciation. You write the way that you listen, not for the spelling. It's not important the spelling in this exercise because in this exercise, uh, I spell whatever, but when I speak, I speak and I pronounce the same. That is the idea. So when you don't have the vocabulary, no problem. Use the vocabulary from the speaker. Use the vocabulary from the reading. And then that way it sounds better. It sounds like, oh, Luis has the vocabulary. Because in the second exercise, uh, the, the friends, Sue, for example, Sue explained that, that uh, oh, she talk about her mother, right? Maybe I, I hear that the problem that... that the mother Sue is, is different, the, the syndrome, right? Because I, I can't connect the idea with the problem Sue with the, 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 the topic that the Dr. Yang will talk in the, in the university. Ah, uh, for here? Aha, uh -huh, yeah, the, the second exercise. Mm -hmm. For example, the problem is living with restless life syndrome. But the, the problem that explains Sue about her mother is, is for me, a different. But, but this is the, I can't connect the idea about the, this uh, little speech with, with the problem, the, the, the Sue's mother. But you did. That is connecting, Luis. Huh? You understand that the problem is with the mother. Uh -huh. And there's the explanation. Ah. The woman, Sue, is interested because her mother had the same sim had the same problem. Her mother had uh, rest leg syndrome. It's the same. Okay. This is how you connect. You use what you understand to connect. Yeah, I, I, I hear. I, I don't hear. I didn't hear the, the connection that, that the problem of Sue with, with the, the speech. Okay. Uh -huh. But Luis, you did it. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I am not, I, 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 how do you say, I, I, sure, why I, 100, I, I talk about the, the, the idea, but I am not 100% sure, right? No. I did not only to talk, talk, because I got it, the idea, <laughs> but, uh, right? No because problem. I, I no. don't have the, the, that vocabulary, but. 
Yeah, I, okay. I, I, got, I got the idea about the, the shoes. Yes. Uh -huh. It's okay. It's okay. And never, never you're going to have all the vocabulary. Me, okay. I take the exam and it's going to be topics I don't know. Why? Because I don't talk about the topics. It's not normal. For example, for me, uh, when do I talk in El Salvador for the trusty um, innovation, the hall, the art? It's not normal in El Salvador. It's not normal in English. Uh huh. Yeah. Right? Okay. Right. Imagine in El Salvador, when is the last time that the government asked you about is okay or not okay to create an art center with never, never? That's why you are never going to have the vocabulary. Only you use what you know and you express. To try to include more vocabulary is obligation. Use the vocabulary that you hear in the moment or the vocabulary that you read in the moment. Mm -hmm. And Teacher, the same for, yes. In my case, I think I have a problem with the comprehension because it, I understand a different way to, to Luis because I understand that that the girl explained about her mother that suffered that kind of illness and they suffered for years. And, and I remember they have a problem in their, in their in in her muscles, I remember, and I, I think I have probably to understand exactly the the reading with the speaker explain. I don't know if uh, and I and I talk about that I am I understand, but I don't know if uh, I'm not sure if I understand in, in the in the good way. I don't know. Yes, Roxy is correct. The woman mother suffered, and the woman mother suffered many years before different name, before different the different ideas. But the woman explained this, that she suffered and what happened, and this explained why she is interested. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. I re remember Kalena. Mm, audio, no audio. The computer record you. <laughs> I, I, I am happy right now be, because the my my Raul is about the same thing like like Luis and like uh, Roxana. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Only we need to practice a little bit more, more and more and more. Okay, guys. Tomorrow okay. we answer the other two questions and we try the other. No problems. Okay. 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 Teacher. All right. Have a nice night. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, 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 bye,